What's up, everybody? It's Indigenous Realist to Realist. We're going into 2019, and I want to be able to reach people who come from all different backgrounds and all different belief systems. I come from an unbiased standpoint of a master student because all I do is study and I research. A lot of truth has been hidden from us by those who wish to conceal, but I'm here to bring it all to the light. So today's video will be about Yahweh, which is a misnomer of the, the Tetragrammaton YHWH. YHWH occurs 6,519 times in the Old Testament. This name is used more than any other name for God. It is first used in Genesis 2, 4, which reads, These are generations of heaven and of the earth, when they were created in the day that the Lord made the earth in the heavens. They used the word Lord for him in the first appearance. It has been mistakenly misnomered as various different words, Yahweh Shah, Jehovah, Yahweh, etc. They all stem from the word Yahwehim which translate as Lord or Master, or, and it denotes the omnipotence of God as the absolute ruler. Various religious groups believe Yahweh is the promised name of God. This name of God, which by Jewish tradition is too holy to voice, is actually spelled Y-H-W-H without vowels. Y-H-W-H is referred to as a tetragrammaton, which simply means the four letter. Tetragrammaton comes from the Hebrew letters yad Hey. Vod, hey. It is referred to as the ineffable name. YHWH is first used in Genesis 2. God did not reveal himself as Yahweh until Exodus 3, 1 through 7. Before I read the passage, I will point out that the numerology in the numbers 3 and 7. 3 is the number of mastery, reference to Tetragrammaton being translated as master. Seven is the number of the embodiment of the higher self, the Lord of the physical. Lord of the land can be translated from the Tetragrammaton also. God is a title which means ruler of the land. Three plus seven equals ten, ten being the number of completion, the comp completion symbolizing the fruition of this distant Lord's mission. You won't hold your hand all the way to the conclusion, but it can be drawn already for those that have comprehension. Anyways... Exodus 3, 1 through 7 reads, Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will not turn aside. See this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, but off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. That's key right there. The modern spelling as, as Yahweh includes vowels to assist in pronunciation. Many pronounce Y-H-W-H as Yahweh or Jehovah, but there is no scientific fact for its true pronunciation because it is in fact the nature of God manifest in flesh. The God referred to in Exodus was a man. I gave you enough to research for now. Anyone can refute this information by coming to my live streams or contacting me to arrange a dialogue about this history and this subject. This is only part one. If you enjoyed it, your brain will truly explode when I reveal part two and three. I'm Indigenous Realist the Realist. Subscribe, hit that bell button, follow me on Instagram at Indigenous Realist, like my page, and contact me on Facebook at Indigenous Realist the Realist. 2019 is finna be our year. All through the content of our people. People are waking up and gaining clarity. We're doing it daily on my channel. I'm Indigenous Realist, the Realist, and I'm gone.